just me again. Today we're going to be doing a book haul. Yay! Um, I got 10 books that I got delivered to me yesterday. Very exciting. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do these in no particular order. Well, I'll do this one first. So, this, this is the only hardback I got. This is Tempest by Julie Cross. I've heard really mixed things about this. So I'm quite intrigued to um, read it. It's like a time travel type thing. Um, yeah. Does this cover remind anyone else of like the Hush Hush cover? Because it really does to me. Like I thought it was, when I first saw it out, I thought it was like some sort of knockoff, same story type thing, but apparently not. So, yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to this one, but hopefully at some point soon. Um, I got Trial by Fire by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, a sequel to Raised by Wolves. I really, really enjoyed Raised by Wolves, so looking forward to this. It's quite a lot smaller than the... Um, the first book so hopefully I can get to that probably next month sometime Ooh. yeah yep well that's that one um oh another second book is Hallowed by Cynthia Hand this is the sequel to Unearthly and both Unearthly and Hallowed both have really gorgeous covers um, I've actually not read Unearthly yet, but um, I've heard really, really good things about these books, so yeah, can't wait for those. Um, then I've got Carrier of the Mark by Lee Fallon. Another book I've heard mixed things about, but I'm really looking forward to. Gorgeous cover, absolutely gorgeous, except I think it looks a bit weird because to me it just sort of looks like her feet have just dribbled away in a blue puddle, but that's just me. Um, yeah, really, really looking forward to this. Good cover is so nice. Um, yeah. Uh, another. Oh, I've also got um, Iron Knight by Julie Kagawa. Um, this is the fourth book in the Iron Fae series. Which, if you've seen my To Be Red pile, I've not, I've not even started yet. But this one was going quite cheap on Amazon, so... You know, always got to pick up a book while, <laughs> when it's going its cheapest, so... Yeah, but... I, I really want to get into this series, because... I really, really tend to like fairy books, so... Hopefully it won't disappoint. Um, I got Sticky Fingers by Nikki Burnham. This is just like a um, teen romance contemporary sort of book, I think. But it's so small. Like, um, if I show against this one, like the Iron Knight, it's so it's so short. And that's not even. And if I show against like one like Tempest, like a hardcover, look how diddy it is. But it's so tiny. Um, yeah, it's quite short. Um, it's going to be like a quick read, I reckon. I'm quite looking forward to it because I don't really read many sort of romance, contemporary style books. So I'm trying to get into more chick lit -y sort of stuff. Um, next is Eve by Anna Carey. Car Car I'm not sure. But this book looks really good. I've not actually heard much about it, but it's got a really pretty cover as well. It's a it's a dystopian, and you know I love dystopians. But um, yeah, it sounds really, really interesting. So I can't wait to get to that one. That one I'm gonna try to get to quite soon. Again, it's it's not particularly that big, so. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. 
And then probably the book out of this lot that I'm most excited for just because I've heard endlessly good things about it and, you know, everyone's raved about it. Um, it's The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkins. Hodkin even. And I can't wait to get to this. It's really intriguing because I don't think much is given away on like on the blurb so it's sort of one of those books you sort of go into blind gorgeous absolutely gorgeous cover so that is one that I'm very excited for probably the most excited for out of all the books that I got in this haul um, yeah. Um, next quite a new book out is Forbidden by Siri James and Ryan M. James, which is like a mother son duo. And it's, yeah, um, a really interesting sort of angel Nephilim book. Um, did I say it was called Forbidden? I hope I did, but really love I love the colour of the um book. Like it's really nice like teal colour. But um yeah, I've not heard much about this either, but I'm really excited to read it. Um yeah. It's just such a lovely cover as well you know like i am a bit of a sort of i do buy books for the cover i know you shouldn't but i really do and that brings me to another point because i hate this cover compared to the other one this is the replacement by brenna yavanoff and i really dislike this cover compared to the um one that's got like the pram with like the knives and stuff hanging above it I just think this one just looks just nowhere near as nice. <coughs> but um I also don't like I don't like it when they tend to have like comments from other authors on, on the front. I mean like it's fine I think if they're on the back. But I just think it looks a bit weird when they're on the front, especially like that. It just sort of takes up a lot of the cover, but you know, that's just me. So yeah, The Replacement is sort of, again, another fairy book, so really, really looking forward to this. To this. Sort of another one I've sort of had mixed things about, but more mixed to good, so. Yeah. So that's that. That's all the books I got <coughs> this time. So, um, some really, ones I'm really, really looking forward to read. Um... I got planned. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, I have a review of Ever Night Up, which I'm read. I'm I've got only got about fifty pages of that left to read, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So that should be good. And then after that, I'm gonna read Ebony, and hopefully get that review up by the end of next week, as long as I enjoy the book and get through it. But um. Yeah, that's all I've really got planned. I'm going to try to minimise the amount of books I've been buying because I've got so many books to try and get through and it's just ridiculous. Like, oh, it's, just, it's, it's not an in, unexpensive hobby, books, but, oh. So yeah, so I'm going to try and cut down on my book buying, but I'll probably still have a... Might try and just go down to having one haul a month. So I'll probably do another one at the end of March, and then, and then go for the end of every month from then. So let's we'll see how it goes. It probably won't end up with that. It'll probably be like next week I'll have another haul, but yeah. So that's all I've really got to say today. Um, 
again thank you to anyone who watched my videos thank you to my lovely subscribers you know I never thought I'd get any well I never thought anyone would even bother to watch my videos so and listen to me ramble and prattle on but um <coughs> yeah thank you I'm not I'm feeling a bit <coughs> ill at the moment so I'm not particularly chatty but yeah um so yeah that's all I've really got to say I think um so sayonara see you next time this bookie book book out.